In this video, we're going to show you how to mount a Flexilite adjustable controller for your electric fan. This is a wiring module and control unit that turns the fan on and off and you can adjust what temperature the fan comes on at. Once you've found a suitable location, mark the holes that you'll need to drill. Check the backside to make sure you're not going to drill into something that you don't want to. And then use the self-tapping screws provided with the controller to attach it to the surface. There are five wires you'll need to connect to your Flexilite controller in order to operate your electric fan. There's a positive lead from the battery to the controller, a negative lead directly from the battery to the controller, positive and negative leads from the controller to the electric fan, a 12 volt trigger wire, and then there are two optional wires you can connect. One that turns the fan on every time the air conditioning is turned on and another is an optional manual override switch. There's a right way and a wrong way to crimp wires. What you want to do is make a very positive connection which is with as much metal to metal contact for good conductivity. Uh, we're working with our 10 gauge wire. This is the one that would be the main power feed from the battery to the controller. First thing you want to do is strip off about three-eighths to a half inch of uh, insulation. Uh, we use stripper tools, but you can use uh, regular electrical tools and, and cut around the uh, insulation and pull it off. Make sure that all the wires are nice and tight there. Sometimes you get some that flick out. You'll want to bend those back in. Using the connector supplied, slip it over until the metal inside the connector contacts the insulation. And then use good crimping tools to crimp the metal part of the connector onto the wires, the bare wires of the uh, wire that you're connecting. Make sure you've got a nice solid connection. Shouldn't distort the connector. If you've crimped it so much that it bend the connector, it's, it's distorted. You'll have to cut it off and start over. Pull on it, twist on it, make sure it's on there solidly. Now you're ready to connect the other wire and you can cover this with electrical tape when you're done. In addition to running power directly to the battery, You'll need to find a keyed 12 volt source. Check it with a test light to make sure that you have power there. Take the wires coming from the flex light fan and uncoil them. You're going to need to determine how far you'll need to run the wires to the control box. You should be able to use the 10 gauge wire supplied with the electric controller. If you do need additional wire, make sure that you use good quality 10 gauge wire as the amperage is very high and using a smaller diameter wire or a very low quality wire will uh, result in electrical problems down the road. One of the most important things when hooking up your electric fan controller is to route the primary power and ground to the controller directly to the battery. Now a lot of vehicles have the batteries mounted in the trunk so what that means is you're going to have to run positive and negative uh, wires, heavy gauge wires to the front of the car to run all your accessories on but especially higher amperage accessories such as an electric fan. Now included with the FlexLite kit is an inline fuse with heavy gauge wire. This connects directly to the positive lead for the fan controller. And then we're going to connect it to our bus bar that we have sent to the front of the car here that provides electricity directly from the battery. Carefully route the capillary tube to the inlet side of the radiator. That's where the upper radiator hose goes into the radiator. A couple of inches from the side tank and near the top so that it's in the flow of the hot coolant as it enters the radiator, you're going to want to insert that probe in the radiator and push it through the core. Once you've made all your electrical connections, make sure the radiator is full of coolant and start the engine and let it warm up. Once the engine comes up to temperature, the electric fan should turn on. Remember you can adjust the point at which the electric fan turns on by rotating the knob on the controller. 